Hey guys, this is Kevin from Vertibox. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update as to what's going on with Marvel Heroes as well as what's going on with the channel. As many of you surely know, the servers have been down for 15 hours for premium pack users and have probably been down for almost a day for ultimate pack users. Like many of you guys, we were patiently waiting to play the game and they kept saying, oh, it'll be up in two hours and we waited two hours and then they put up another message saying, oh, it'll be another two hours. Oh, it'll be another three hours. Now that people are finally getting onto the game, they're realizing that all sorts of problems have happened, things that I was very much afraid were gonna happen actually did happen. When people were logging into their accounts, they'd realize that they wouldn't have any of their characters, items, or extra stash tabs. You know, other people's accounts balances were zero or were the wrong amount. Uh, sometimes bonus credits weren't included, sometimes they were. Basically, the whole thing has been a, a giant mess for a launch, but the good news is is that everything is fixed on our end and we hope that it's fixed on your end, which means that we can finally play the game. Uh, so as you can see here in the background video, we're playing Hawkeye and that's going to be our first leveling guide that we're going to bring you guys. Probably it'll be at least another day before we get that out because we want to try a lot of different builds. We've actually never played them before. Uh, beyond the Hawkeye leveling guide, there's two other things I wanted to talk to you guys about. The first thing is that Captain America was nerfed and I was really hoping that he would not be nerfed, but I had a sneaking suspicion that shield toss and shield bounce were just a little too powerful. Now, they did actually halve the damage because there was a bug that doubled the damage, so they just fixed the bug and now the damage is about half. To me, that probably means that Captain America isn't worth picking anymore. Unless you really like Captain America, then by all means pick him. But if you were gonna pick Captain America because he was a little OP, then probably not a good idea to pick him right now. Having the damage of both of his best skills cut in half is just a huge nerf. Even if it was a bug fix, it's still gonna be a nerf in the eyes of gamers. And uh, there are just other characters now that I think are better at dealing single target damage. For example, I think if you want to pick a character that's likely not going to be nerfed and something you'll level up and you'll enjoy and you won't feel super OP but you won't feel like you wasted your time, probably Miss Marvel is a good pick. That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, Emma will probably be doing something a little bit different. The thing is, Miss Marvel is not really a very popular character. Uh, not like Hulk or Spider-Man or Thor or these type of characters. So even if it turns out that she is OP during the endgame, it's likely not going to be noticed unless Gazillions has their eyes on our channel and we show all these crazy exploits. But I don't really see that happening with Miss Marvel. She seemed like a very fair character, especially not having huge amounts of AoE damage. So many more characters in the closed beta were considered to be OP. For example, Hulk was OP, Thor's Call of the Lightning was OP, Scarlet Witch's Combustion Hex was OP, and apparently Captain America's Shield Tosses were OP. So I think Miss Marvel's pretty safe for nerfs. In fact, if Gazillion decides to nerf Miss Marvel, then I'm going to be really, really disappointed in the company. Because that would mean that every fun character I had ever played in the closed beta has been nerfed and is basically unplayable. And what I mean by unplayable is that it's not possible to solo the content with them. And to me that is a huge shame and is a huge problem because we were promised the ability to solo the content. And I don't really understand this, but it seems like a zillion wants to nerf all the characters to force you to play with other players. I guess that's to justify the quote unquote MMO tag, I'm not really sure, but that's not the game that everyone was promised. The second thing I want to talk about is that the Mighty Smash ability on Hulk has been nerfed. Now this was a very much needed nerf. People were reporting on the forums that Hulk had the ability to three shot endgame bosses. And to put this in perspective, when my overpowered version of Thor got to the endgame in the closed beta, it took 10 minutes just to beat the Shocker, who was the first boss in the very first daily. So being able to beat bosses with just three hits is clearly OP. Part of me has a really hard time understanding how these sorts of problems happen in the game in the first place. I mean, if I were making a game and I were working on the balance aspect of it, I would tweak the numbers, load up the game, and then try out the skills with my tweaked numbers with the appropriate gear, with the appropriate mob level, this sort of thing, to make sure that it's working as intended. But there's been so many weird balance changes in the game where it seems like Gazillion's applying these changes almost arbitrarily. It almost seems like they have the attitude like, well, we'll fix it, and if no one complains about it, well, it must have been right. 
I mean, let's look at Scarlet Witch, where they took Combustion Hex from 180 damage per second all the way to 30 damage per second. And then over the series of many patches, they've been increasing it to 60 damage a second, and then 80 damage a second, and then who knows where it's at right now. I don't understand why this is so difficult to do. In the last patch, we had a skill called Hex Binding, which was doing 3.7 times more damage than Combustion Hex at the time. Why wasn't it obvious that the damage on Combustion Hex was too low? All you had to do was cast one skill, and then cast the other skill, and visually compare them. And knowing what I know about software, because I am a software architect, I have been developing software for 22 years, I don't really understand why it was so difficult to test these changes. It would save the company a ton of money if they simply did this internal testing before they launched the game to us. Anyway, I hope that anyone who's currently playing the game is having a ton of fun. It's certainly great news that the servers are up, we got access to all our characters, and things should be hopefully going pretty smooth from here. If we have to go through yet another debacle like this for the starter pack editions, I don't know man, I think people are going to be extremely upset. And with that, we're going to wrap up this video. But before I do that, I want to let you guys know that there's going to be a metric ton of content coming to the channel. I think you guys are really going to like the content that we're bringing you guys. In addition to the Hawkeye leveling guy, we got all sorts of things planned. So what do you guys think about the launch so far? Got access to all your characters? Got access to all your in-game currency? What do you think about the nerfs to Captain America or Hulk? Please be sure to let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.